Now, we would like to invite Mr. Abdullah Raqadi from Ministry of Health to talk about forced deployment in Ministry of Health. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم <coughs> والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين First of all, I know everybody is tired I don't know how many uh, is still awake uh, I hope you are also hungry as me uh, Thank you for this opportunity uh, for the organizers and I'm really glad to be here and I would like, first of all, to uh, say thank you and proud of my team who worked in uh, IT in Ministry of Health. Without them, I don't think I'll be able to stand here. So I would like to start with, please give a big hands to our team in Ministry of Health who had a great job during uh, all the years from, two th from late 90s until now, uh, we didn't achieve only uh, producing so many softwares, applications, and so forth, but we have also able to uh, save patients' lives as well as save uh, capitals of Ministry of Health as well as the government. Ministry of Health has started uh, ICT in late 90s, but before that, uh, I don't know how many of you have known that Ministry of Health has produced the first health information system in 1987. We have started with Royal Hospital uh, implementing a health information system at that time still was framework. But that gives us a challenge where we can uh, come up with our own system. We have struggled with that uh, previous system, but it gives us an opportunity, actually, where the challenge is always create successful. We have implemented several uh, applications within Ministry of Health Boundary, and we are uh, really proud that we have uh, built in-house system uh, for health information system called the SHIFA which is a baby born in Ministry of Health. Uh, it is already available in 234 institutes across the country. Adding to that, there are nine institutes as a government's hospitals or institutes. So uh, total is above 240. <clears throat> uh, the percentage is more than 91 percentage as a total of Health Institute computerized in Ministry of Health. There are 148 institutes which is in the uh, government uh, network, so they are uh, talking to each other, they are exchanging data and interact between those 148 for the sake of patient safety as well as uh, referring patients from and in. We have built a strategy and actually this strategy is being uh, inherited to me and again I would like to give big thanks to our founder uh, of IT in Ministry of Health, Mr. Abdurrahman Toki, who has missed, uh, we are missing him really and I would say he was the uh, big founder of Ministry of Health Achievements and again if you don't mind give a big uh, hands to Mr. Abdurrahman Toki. Actually, our strategy is to ensure that uh, each level of health care is being computerized within Ministry of Health. If you see at the bottom line, or the second bottom line, as the uh, health care uh, 
levels as health centers, primary care, and so forth to be uh, computerized. And I have mentioned that it is already 234 institutes which has been uh, computerized. We have also built the central blood bank, so to ensure that exchanging of anything relates to the blood bank as the donations, donators, whatever, or blood banks itself, are uh, interlinked and talk to each other. We have also built a system for the central laboratory, which is again is uh, interact between the health institutes uh, with the central laboratory for uh, special uh, cases of investigations. We have also built the management information system which gives the decisions makers different dashboards to read what is happening in, across the country. We call that is Nabda Shifa. Uh, we have also built the uh, national surveillance system, which is alert uh, about different diseases, communicable diseases or non-communicables. We have also built a framework for uh, electronic referrals for the seek of second opinions, appointments, or uh, uh, laboratories and radiology. Uh, of course, a Shifa system was already there, so the strategy is to build a central repository as a national electronic health record, which is linked between Ministry of Health and the bottom line of government and private uh, health establishments in the country. We are, uh, hopefully we will be able to launch this system by uh, May or June of this year. Uh, all that frameworks has been integrated with a central national uh, e uh, master passion and index which is again integrated with the uh, Royal uh, Oman Police as a um, uh, civil status. So this is our uh, strategic and I would just give a brief uh, biography about open source in Ministry of Health. First of all, and I have highlighted in red, it was a great adventure when uh, not many enterprise level adapt uh, open source and none uh, organizations in Sultanate of Oman has started even thinking of open source. Y2K, it gives us alerts what is going to be in the future. So we have started in 2002 thinking of building up and opens or using up the uh, open source. So we started in uh, Nava Hospital implementing the uh, operating system as a Linux and go away from uh, a Windows uh, framework. Uh, we have also started with the uh, uh, email e exchange. We have started with Suzy for 15 years experience and then from 2000 till today we still use the Zimbra as uh, email exchange. Uh, as a high availability we are using the uh, Red Hat uh, advanced servers 2.1 with clustering and as uh, a domain controller and active directory we do use Samba with different versions to ensure that we are using a high availability servers with single point of failure. Uh, installation of the device drivers was a nightmare, but interesting and really tempting, but it was a great successful achievement. When we have started using the open source and operating system, the team was really struggling. The, U, uh, uh, the user interface was not that user friendly. And the team has to code everything. They have to code the IP, link monitoring, the high availability service management. But again, the challenge is there and they have created uh, a great successful by implementing those softwares and using this open source, the team was really uh, reduced the licensing cost and they are able to own the uh, source code and total cost of ownership. Uh, we have also came up with a freedom of choices. Security is much higher than expected uh, when we have start or think about open source. I would give just a small uh, examples here. In one of the organizations we faced during the uh, system of Medicom, uh, system failure for three days, where today 
with open source and with our current system, we didn't come across single failure. And that's really a big achievements. Thank you, my team. At present, we have more than 500 plus Linux servers, virtual and physical, 24 by 7 availability. There are around 75 locations has cluster server with high availability. And we are using a Samba 3, version 3 and version 4 uh, replaced with Windows domain uh, controllers and Active Directory. A huge environment, as I have said, is 234. And you just think of this number of institutes, but we are able to control them by very few numbers, which is not more than your hand. It's about two to three admin staff. Backup, monitoring, and all the stuff is being used by open source. This is how it looks the uh, server technologies. We are using the Apache stacks with different type of Apache. We have also used as, uh, Spring frameworks with different stacks in that. As an operating system and database, we use Postgres database as well as, as, well as uh, Linux and Oracle uh, operating system, Oracle uh, Linux. Uh, development and deployment again, as you see on the uh, left side, we are, I'm sorry for the graph, it might be not clear to you, as well as me, I don't know why I have put that colors, but anyhow it is there. Uh, as a development, we are using uh, Angular uh, GS, Angular uh, Springs, G IPA and so forth with Linux and uh, Eclipse IDE. On the deployment size, we are using the Apache web servers as well as Tomcat. And this is how it looks, the deployments uh, frameworks or the designs of the uh, deployment sites. As user interface technologies, we are using the task runner as a grant, where the front end rendering, we are using HTML5 as well as Bootstrap CSS where the framework we are using Angular 2 as, as well as Angular JS. I'm going to present now some of the applications or the softwares which has been made within Ministry of Health. Out of these, only two which has been outsourced. The rest of them are being implemented and designed within Ministry of Health boundary. And before that, let's go quick what type of stacks we are using. The Red Hat, as I have mentioned, Oracle, Linux, Samba, with different versions as an operating system and high availability. We're in database, we are using Postgres as well as PHP, MySQL. As a web content management and uh, application servers, Apache, RESTful, uh, Tomcat, JBoss, Liferay, and Jepper uh, reports. As application developments, we are using Spring, Eclipse, uh, Starts, Hypernet, uh, PHP, MySQL, Apache, Maven, and Java. Where user interface developments, we are using the uh, Angular uh, JS, uh, HTML, uh, 5, CSS, uh, 3, Grant, Bootstrap, and jQuery. Where in the testing tools, we are using JUnit and JMeter, SE, so, uh, as a source control, we are using Git, ActiveMQ, and Apache Camel. We used as enterprise application integration. We are using also Zimpra and LibreOffice in our institutes. Business process management. We are using the uh, JBPM. When we come and, de and decide where to go, we always put uh, certain blocks to think or to, to measure the difference between the standard softwares or open source. We always use, I mean, looking into, into the, uh, the, ability, the ability of customizations, how much is going to cost us if we use any standard softwares comparing to uh, open source, the freedom of both. The cost always is a measurement where, we, where should we go. And we are always trying to test the products before we go uh, to buy it. The flexibility, the audit uh, security, and the quality. All those components, it alerts us where to go. Shall we go for uh, a standard or we, shall we go for open source system? 
Here is some of the projects which has been uh, built. This is one of the outsource at the Ministry of Health uh, portal, which is uh, running in different applications as well as Android uh, mobile apps. It contains more than 114 e-services targeting different level of people. Here is the framework or the architect of the open source, how it looks. And as you see on these diagrams, they are live free and uh, Postgres, whatever open source being used on this. This gives you a clear picture where open source is being used in this uh, application or in this portal. Nahar Shifa is a national electronic health record, is being also built in purely open source using uh, different technologies and using the Postgres uh, database uh, with Java and the stuff of all uh, salads and fruits into that. And this is which is allowing, as it is a framework where it integrate, can be integrated with any type of uh, applications used in the uh, uh, healthcare. Uh, as you see on the left side here, it can be integrated wherever a Shifa system is there or any other uh, HIS in a private or in a public uh, hospitals to ensure that everything is being integrated for different modalities and using the Ministry of Health portal or other Nahar Shifa portal so the others can be interact with the system and can be accessible from anywhere with any type of devices. Uh, another project which is uh, outsources health academic management system and I believe uh, is one of the sponsors here is MTAC, they have built this system and uh, it is all about uh, health academic management system within a uh, health uh, institute, applied health institutes in Ministry of Health. It is all about the different functionalities which are targeting the students, the faculties, the hostels and the stuff of different architects used on this. Again, it is purely open source stacks is being used in this project. Here is another uh, project which has been launched last month. Uh, it is about central birth and death registry where it is integrated between the health uh, application used in the hospitals and the ROP to ensure the electronic transactions to issue the uh, birth certificate. It has been used uh, from last month between Royal Hospital, Khola Hospital, and by next month we are going to roll it out in other regions, hospitals, and the letters to the private as well as the public hospitals as well. And again, it is purely in open source, and this has been built within uh, DGIT. Another system is where uh, the center of disease control, and this system is going to be integrated with Ministry of Manpower, ROP, as well as uh, Gulf uh, portal for uh, health checkup which is called JAMCA and is going to also available in Senate centers where it allows to, uh, to, to interact between those entities as well as with the central laboratory for uh, specific uh, investigations. And again, it is purely uh, built in open source stacks. Hajj medical screening, which is again is integrated with Ministry of Awqaf, so all the screening and the transactions online through uh, the portal of Awqaf. This is again another system called Bada'il, which is allows registrations of the land and uh, properties belong to Ministry of Health, and it allows also to uh, uh, register any investments or investors to be allowed registering if there are uh, any uh, lease or, or, or invest to be used within the Ministry of Health. Uh, there are also uh, a dashboard has been built uh, called Nabd al which is alerts the institute, each institute or the director general of institutes what is going on on their uh, institutes with different numbers and this is again has been built with PHP uh, framework. 
Here is the National uh, Blood Donation Registry, where again it interacts between the donations, people and donors, and the central banks and the uh, regional uh, blood banks, where it uh, stops any uh, duplications or even to save cost of or to redact or detect uh, the uh, number of investigations and duplications. Another application, which is Network Monitoring System, uh, again it is in PHP, which is uh, uh, monitoring all the servers within the ministry and alerts if there is any cut lines and sends SMS to the uh, owners of that servers. Uh, as you know, we have to digitalize uh, all the process within uh, Ministry of Health. So one of the requ recommendations is to ensure that the images of radiology, x-rays, and the stuff has to be electronically. We have built it as an outsource in four hospitals, but what about others? It's too costly. And it was also a problem of supports. We need a big supports. So our uh, team has decided to build our own PAC system. So they have achieved it, and it is running successfully currently in Brahimi hospitals, where the doctors will be able to view the images, and this is belong to Ministry of Health, and it is our own system. And as you, as you see on the diagram, it's integrated between the health information system, radiology information system, and the PAC system. In addition to that, we are recently also uh, launched a new system uh, for uh, capturing the images and videos from the uh, endoscopy to a Shifa system, or it will be sent to the PAC system. And that is uh, going to be used uh, shortly in Royal Hospital. What are the challenges? I think I'm not going to touch it more, but as a business people, the challenge is the awareness. This is the big challenge. We are still lack of awareness in open source. And I believe we can notify the number of audience how it was in early morning and how it is now. And I think we need to work hard to come up with uh, good awareness of using open source in Oman. Uh, lack of knowledge is again, everybody or most uh, people in Oman as a public, students, employees, we used to use a Windows platforms where if you ask them now, why don't we use Libra, for example, they will hesitate to use because they all, they thought, they mind, they know how to go to Matrah through Sultan Qaboos. If you opened a new road which is easier, they will resist until they get use of it. So this is one of the biggest challenge uh, in Oman. As a technical, the huge learning curve is, again, is a challenge and uh, we might find a lack of uh, support uh, companies in, 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 the, in Oman which is uh, able to give us support on, on uh, open source. Licensing promotes free exchange, but embodies restrictions of its own if the plan is distribute, uh, to distribute it. So if you are not aware, is, is it, it is not only to give a source code, is how to get use of this course, uh, source code. The architect of, of, the, of the source code, that is very important. Unless you have a good team, you will not be able to survive. It is good to have an open source. And we will be proud to, open, to have an open source. But if you have lack of skills within your organizations, you will not sustain. Again, we'll come up with the issue of licensing. will become up an issue of uh, how many we are going to pay uh, annually for the supports. So before we think of whatever solution is, we must think how to build the capacity to ensure that it can be supported for longer. If you want to be successful, we have to have a great leadership and a commitment. Otherwise, we'll end up 
with changing these frameworks from open source to closed uh, source. So we have to build a competent team and retain it. We have to encourage them using the open source. It's good to start now. The Sultan Qaboos University starts the open source, but we need them to work hard on a project. Let it be their final their final uh, projects in open source, let them work in real environment within ministries to come up with different projects uh, using the open source. I, want, I will skip this advantages because we all know what is the advantages and the seek for the time. But let me end up with these slides. According to the Gartner, in 1998, only 10% of organization were using open source. By 2016, it's more than 50%. So the globe or the curve is going up, and we have to uh, survive or, or to catch up this, this uh, speed. And 62 of our organization reported using open standard application program interface APIs. There has been 140% increase in interest purchasing open source. It's good to purchase, but again, doubt of building up the capacity to ensure that you will sustain for longer. The global software market is worth close to 300 mil billion dollars with open source growing at an average yearly growth of 22 percentage and we are expecting this number will be more on the next years. Gartner predicted that by 2017, at least 95 percentage of mainstream IT organizations will leverage open source within mission critical software deployments. And we have uh, good examples of uh, big companies like Google, Facebook, and Extra who are using the uh, open source. Thank you very much, and wishing you all the best. Thank you.